What's up, y'all? Your girl CP says, and today we are at Universal City Walk on our way to Universal Studios Japan. It's, it's cute. I like this so far. It reminds me of LA City Walk, like a condensed version. We only just got to the entrance, so let's check it out. special Pokemon Halloween collaboration going on and basically hella cute DJ Pikachu versus DJ Gengar and basically it's like ghost type Pokemon versus you know of course main character uh, Thunder Pikachu over here and low-key it was a Pokemon rave and it was just super the cutest thing ever I cannot believe we saw this in real life it was amazing Spider-Man. down. They had to manually open up the seat thing to get people out. Uh, it's been maybe five minutes now. All right, we'll report back. But like, power's out. Like, kind of out. See, like, nothing's on, like TVs and stuff. Only lights. So we basically bought like the equivalent to a fast pass where you kind of skip the line and I feel like we only used it for the Spider-Man ride and the Spider-Man ride freaking broke down so it didn't even matter anyway. Um, so that's kind of a waste. Their Despicable Me stuff was super cute, very banana flavor and we bought a toy from uh, Despicable Me which I carried around like a child. It smells like banana. All right, so that ride was crazy. What was it called? Jurassic Park, the flying Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was a flying dinosaur ride at Jurassic. Flying with a pterodactyl. You're flying with a pterodactyl. You do a lot of head dives. So there was like two parts where it's like hella strong G force. Yeah, it was fun as fuck though. All right, so long. We're going to Mario now. We spent so much time here, like four to five hours. Two, one, okay. This place was so freaking sick. Honestly, I could spend the whole day here. I loved it so much. I would be more fan. So they truly gamified the experience. Right when you enter, you could buy these bracelets, and it basically has a chip in there that you set up to have your name. There's a leaderboard. You participate in some of these games like this. Uh, some of the rides, you collect coins as you go. You basically tap your bracelet. And then there was like a mobile app that you could see your standings against like everyone for the day and like everyone of all time. And like it actually, if you reach a certain amount of points, you're able to ride the final ride, which is like the Mario Kart ride, which I thought was super exclusive. And I don't know if that's like real, real, but they definitely check like your status. Universal Studios Mario Land, obviously Universal Studios. We also did Harry Potter, uh, Warner Brothers Harry Potter Studio Tour, and like that was amazing. And we also did the Pokemon Cafe, and that was kind of whack. Like in comparison, 
like obviously Pokemon Cafe has been around for so much longer and it's just like a cafe where you eat lunch or I guess maybe even have dinner but like it was still not worth it and so honestly if you could dish out the time and extra cash to get to these experiences Chinatown recommend Universal Studios as well as the Warner Brothers Harry Potter tour which you'll see in another video I was seriously living my best life. Look at me. Look at she's so happy. <laughs> hidden coins like Mario coins everywhere like oh this one was hard one for me to press I like tried a couple times to actually press it but like as I was saying like you basically collect as you go and you can spend so much time just trying to find where to like tap your bracelet um, and gain coins and like some of them are hidden like even I didn't know like some of these and Jason was like hey, come check this out check out this wall I'm like there's nothing there and then sure enough there was something there I've already said a million times how much I love this, but I'm hella good at Mario Kart. And so seeing this Mario Kart like ride and sort of how they built it out, seeing all the um, trophies, it just was so cool to see it come to life. I wanted to touch everything. Definitely don't try to touch everything. You can touch some stuff, but don't touch everything. This guy was a paid actor, because look how beautiful it looks in this setting. Like that's the real sky. Like that's the clouds and stuff. I literally waited in line for like 30 minutes for that chicken. It's giving Disneyland's turkey leg flavor, but chicken, so it's like better. We decided to watch mm. the One Piece special. It was like an extra $50, I think. And me and Jason at this point haven't seen any One Piece. And it was really cool um, to see like all the characters in like this real person performance. And I enjoyed it. And also, duh, it was in Japanese, so we didn't actually understand what was going on. But with the context, it was very enjoyable. Here's more Halloween stuff. It's it was pretty good. Like this is the person. It's not like an animatronic. It just looked crazy. But what's so funny is that like they're spooky, spooky, and then they break into a freaking rave dance. Like like look at this guy. <laughs> like they were playing like happy ass music. It did not match. I was very confused. <laughs> All right, if you made it this far, you're gonna get a tip. It is so freaking hard to get a ticket on their website. So I had to use an app called Clue K L O O K. And that's how I got a lot of tickets while I was in Japan for a lot of these activations and stuff we did. So, alright, thanks for watching, y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video.